Hi guys, today we're going to do a virtual walk around our freshly installed Audi Q2. This is the 1.6 TDI uh, diesel. This is also the S Line edition. Finish this gorgeous white. As you can tell, lovely paintwork. Looks really good. Really nice looking car. We go to the alloys. We have the 18 inch twin spoke V alloys. Uh, finished in silver. You've got your nice Audi center casings on there too. If we're going over to the headlights on the front, you've got your nice Audi LED headlights, high performance with daytime running lights. Very bright and powerful lights, and they look great as well. We have the nice S-Line styling kit around the car, uh, so it stands out from all the others. It looks really good. You have nice chrome trims going on the uh, bumper and also on the grille, and then the nice Audi badging too. If we go to the sides, you have the nice Audi S-Line badging on the side. You have matching colour wing mirrors for the body colour. You've also got your indicators on there too and black housing. You have a nice black trim on the outside of the windows, and you also have some wind deflectors as well, which is great go to the back you can see we have a nice lip spoiler on top of the boot giving it a nice sporty look and you also have the nice rear s-line bumper and also the break up of the color diffuser as well and the single exhaust tip if we go and open up the boot we have great boot space really nice bit of boot space for this car um, and also if we unlock the car again you can see we've got the sweeping indicators as well which is a really nice touch to, add to the car uh, you can actually put the seats down too, take the loads space cover out if you want a bit more space so you can get loads in there. If we go to the back, put the gorgeous half leather, half cloth seats with stitching going through. You can fit three people in there quite nicely, very spacious. You also have a little bit of storage there if you want to put something in there, which is great. If we go to the front, we have the same style seats, so you've got a bit more lumbar support, these kind of like bucket seats. You have the nice S line engraving on there as well. Uh, which is lovely and very comfortable as well. So if we get into the car, put the key in the ignition and turn the car on. You can see you have the nice S-Line Audi steering wheel, which is very comfortable to use. Really nice looking steering wheel too. Just turn the aircon down a bit. We have controls on either side. So on this side, you can control your virtual driving dash and you can go through your different displays, which is great. You get like your navigation up, phone and everything, uh, which is lovely. You get all your different dials up, see what's going on with the car. Uh, it's really nice to use. And on this side, you've got your hands-free and your volume controls and everything for your radio and music. So you can change the uh, tracks, turn it up. You can also answer and decline calls and use your voice command too. If we move down, you can see you have your nice door cards. You have fully electric automatic windows and you've got your child lock settings. You have electric heated wing mirrors too, which you can uh, choose using this. And then if on cold day, you can just push it down and the wing mirrors will heat up. You also have your central locking located here. If we go down to here, you have your automatic headlights. So on nighttime, they'll turn on automatically. On daytime, they'll turn off and just have your side lights on. Or you can manually bump side lights, daytime lights, and then your parking lights and fog lights. If we go over to the media display, control through this panel down here. You see, we do actually have navigation system, but we don't keep the cards in the car until sale. So you do have a navigation system. You have Bluetooth, your phone, so you can speak through the car, as I say. You can also use Bluetooth, so you can connect your phone through Bluetooth media, so you can listen to your own music. Then you also have your radio, so you have DAB, FM and AM. Let's turn this down. So you do actually have internet radio, which is a great bonus. And if we put the car in reverse, you can hear we have rear parking sensors that beep, so you can hear the beeping as well for the rear parking sensors. If we move down, you have your different drive modes for the car, such as uh, dynamic mode, so a bit more responsive, comfort mode for everyday driving in an eco mode if you want to save a bit of fuel. Then you've got your automatic stop start, hazard controls, traction control, and then you can turn the display off as well. You'd have your air conditioning and your temperature here. So you've got your aircon, uh, which is like I just push that to turn it on. Air circulation, uh, front and rear defogging, and then you can choose where the air comes out of as well. Moving down, you've got a USB port for either charging or you can play music from your phone. And you've also got a 12 volt there too. You've got two drinks holders. You can take this out if you want to make a bit more storage space. You've got your, your place where you can turn up the radio, change the tracks and everything. Obviously to control the media display, you've obviously got your handbrake here as well, which is your electric handbrake, which is great and very out the way and just easy to use. Just put your foot on the brake, pull this back and it'll turn on and off. If we open up here, you have another USB port and then you have an aux point as well, which is great and some more storage space. So if you have any more questions about this car, please feel free to contact our sales team. Potentially, this could be your next new car. Cheers.